Hi and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be continuing on with my Home Assistant GMK Tech Mini PC series and in this video we're going to be taking this which is an Android tablet and um, we're going to be using it as a kiosk to remote control our Home Assistant. So you can put this Android tablet wherever you want, say for example on a wall using a wall bracket which you can readily find on the internet or you can just place it on some table or piece of furniture somewhere in a central location so you can remote control your smart gadgets connected to Home Assistant. So without further ado let's get started, we'll hop on the PC and I'll show you what to do. So the first thing we need to do is to create a user account for our Android tablet which we will use to log in via the kiosk mode to Home Assistant. So to create the user account, what you need to do is log into Home Assistant on your PC as you normally would, which is as you can see what I've done here, and we're at the overview screen or desktop. Now to create the user account, what you need to do is go to settings at the bottom left corner, then from the settings menu that appears, you can select people. So select people, then what you need to do is in the bottom right corner, click on add person. Then you will get the window appear on screen asking you to create a new person. So in the name box, we will call this kiosk. And then what we'll do is for the allow person to log in, we will enable this option. Then with the second window that appears for add user, You'll see we've got the username as kiosk and it's all in lowercase and then the password we will create a password in this case we'll just create a basic password but make sure your password is uh, secure and then once you've confirmed the password in the confirm box here what you need to do is select local access only so enable this option so that the kiosk can only access your home assistant on your local network so meaning either your wired network or your local wi-fi network you don't want it to be able to access this remotely then for the administrator option you want to leave this as disabled so leave that as grayed out and then once you've done that click on create and then again click on create now you'll see under people we've got two people so we've got me as the administrator which I log into Home Assistant from on my PC. And then we've got Kiosk, which we will use as the user account to access it from our Android tablet. So once you've done that, you can go back to the overview screen. And what you can do then is close the Home Assistant window or minimize it, whichever you choose. So in this case, I'll just minimize it for the time being. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Android tablet. So here we are and I'm at the Android tablet which I broadcast to my computer screen to record this video on and what you need to do is you need to go to your Android Play Store so as you can see I've got the Google and we go to the Play Store and what you need to do is search for Fully Kiosk Browser and then you will see we've got some search results for Fully Kiosk Browser and Lockdown so this is the application that you want to install. Now, as you can see at the right hand side here, I've already installed it. So once you just go through and install the application, don't open it when you've done it, but just install it. And uh, once you've installed it using the Play Store as you would, you would install it just as the way you normally do with any other application. So once you've installed it, you'll see that I've now put a shortcut on my Android tablet desktop. So what you need to do is before you open Fully Kiosk Browser, you want to make a note of the IP address or host name that you use to access your Home Assistant for. So in this case, if I just go back to the Home Assistant dashboard, you'll see the IP address at the top here is 192.168.1.10 and then a colon and then the port number 8123. So make sure you've made a note of the IP address or host name that you access Home Assistant with. So once you've done that, then you can go back to your Android tablet 
And what we can do is then open Fully Kiosk Browser. So once you've opened a Fully Kiosk Browser, you should be presented with this window, Fully Kiosk Browser, Quick Start Settings, and then the Start URL. Now in the Start URL, what you need to do is enter HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and then enter the IP address for your Home Assistant. And in this case, it's 192.168.1.10. And then of course you need to enter the colon and then the port number which by default is always 8123 so that's always the default port number for home assistant unless you've changed yours so then what you need to do is for full screen mode make sure that that is enabled and it should be enabled by default so leave that as it is and then the show action bar you need to leave that as disabled and then also the show address bar, leave that as disabled as well. So leave all those three options as default when you first open the application. Then once you've done that, you can then hit the start using fully button. And then you've clicked on the start button. It should then bring you to the welcome home and ask you to log in. So what you need to do is for that user account that we just created in Home Assistant, enter the username and password. And if you recall, we created a user account called Kiosk. So once you've entered those credentials, click Login, and it should then take you to your Home Assistant dashboard, as you will see it has done. So this is the dashboard that has been loaded on our Android tablet. So then once you've done that, we need to change some options and settings in Fully Kiosk. So to do this, what you need to do is swipe in from the left hand side and it should then bring up the Fully Kiosk browser version number and a selection of settings. So what we need to do first is go into settings and then select web browser settings. Then what you need to do is enable pull to refresh. So enable the pull to refresh option by turning it blue. As you can see, it's just done. And then you need to go back one step and then this will take you into the settings menu. So then you want to scroll down to device management, select this, and then for the option, keep screen on, that should be enabled by default. If it isn't, you need to enable it. So that should be enabled. And then what you need to do is for unlock screen, make sure that is enabled, which as you can see it is. And then what we need to do is scroll down to launch on boot and then enable that option. Now what this option does is it will automatically load fully kiosk browser every time you boot up or restart your Android tablet. Then what you need to do is go back one step to the main settings menu and then scroll down to remote administration. Here you will see we've got remote administration, so select this option. And then what you need to do is enable remote administration. So turn this slider blue, and you will see that it's now enabled some other options below this. So for the option remote admin password, you need to select this option. And then what we're going to do is create a remote administrator password. So once you've created the remote admin password, Make a note of it because we will need this later and then click OK. And then what you need to do is make sure that the remote admin from local network option is enabled. As you can see, it is actually enabled because it's turned blue. Now, what you need to do is for the enable admin and rest interface in your local network currently at, and then it will give you an IP address, what you need to do is make a note of that IP address. So in this case, it's 192.168.1.183. And then also the port number, as you can see, is 2323. You may not need the port number, but just make a note of it in case. So once you've made a note of that, you need to hit the back button on your tablet and keep going back. And then you will see we've got a permissions required message. So what you need to do is click OK. And then you will see we've now got some more permissions popping up on screen. So it's asking you to allow fully kiosk browser. 
and what you need to do is select the option for while using the app and then again while using the app and keep doing this for all the options that appear on screen and then allow and allow and then allow and then what you need to do is click the back button and then you will see we've now got some options in our settings for the Android tablet. So for fully kiosk browser, you need to enable this. So turn it orange, hit the back option. Again, enable fully kiosk browser by turning the slider orange, hit back again, enable fully kiosk browser, and then again, click OK. And then on the final step, what you should do is click the activate button at the bottom right corner here. So once you've done that, you should then be taken back to your Home Assistant dashboard and you should then have a watermark on there with plus features activated. Please get a license. Now, if you want to remove those watermarks, what you need to do is just pay for the fully kiosk browser application, which is only for a small cost, a one off cost. So once you've done that, it will then remove the watermarks. However, you don't have to register it and pay for it if you don't want but i would recommend doing so just to remove those watermarks that you see on the screen which will make the uh, home assistant dashboard look a bit tidier i'm not getting any commission or anything from this it's just a recommendation for you so now what you need to do is from your home assistant dashboard on your pc so not the android home assistant dashboard on the tablet you need to go back to your PC with administrator privileges, which you've logged in as previously in this video, as I showed you. And as you can see, I'm now logged in on my PC back with the administrator account. So now what we need to do is go into settings. Then what you need to do is select devices and services. Then what we need to do is click on the add integration button in the bottom right corner. And then for the search, for set up a new integration you need to type in fully kiosk and as you can see we've now got fully kiosk browser so what you need to do is click on this and then for the host you need to type in the ip address that we noted down for our tablet so while we were configuring fully kiosk browser on a tablet i told you to note down the ip address so you need to type in this ip address into the host box here and then for the password, you need to type in the password that we created for the remote admin, which we did in the settings in our fully kiosk browser on the tablet, if you recall. Then what you need to do is click on submit. And as you can see, we've got a success message created configuration for TABL01, which is my Android tablet. If you don't get a success message, it means that you've entered the IP address of your Android tablet incorrectly. So what you need to do is go back and find out the IP address. Now you could do this, for example, by going into your router or router's homepage and looking at the devices that's connected to your Wi-Fi network, and it should give you the IP address of your Android tablet. So make a note of that and then just re-enter the IP address here and then you should get the success message. So once you've got the success message, click on finish. And this has now added our Fully Kiosk Browser integration, which will link up to Fully Kiosk Browser on our Android tablet. So that's how easy it is to add an Android tablet to be used in Kiosk mode to remote control Home Assistant from your Android tablet dashboard. So now the final thing, obviously there might be a problem with charging up your Android tablet. Now, the best option I would do is either just charge it manually as you would, for example, with your, say, mobile phone. I wouldn't leave it permanently on charge to prevent and stop the battery exploding, for example, if it could, or it's possible that it could. So don't leave it permanently on charge on the mains. However, what you could do is use for example a smart plug and then connect your android tablet to the smart plug and then set an automation here in home assistant to automatically charge your android tablet via the control of the smart plug so you could set up an automation here in home assistant so that the smart plug 
automatically charges your tablet say for an hour every day or something like that depending on how much you use your android tablet so that's all there is to setting up android tablet to be used in kiosk mode to remote control home assistant so that's it for this video hope you found it useful and hope you're able to follow it easy enough thanks for watching this video take care and back again soon with more videos bye for now